Welcome to the first lesson of Adobe After Effects from CG Course channel. I don't know if this video can make 100 likes or not, but I hope you like it. After Effects is one of the best applications used in order to create photo slideshows. So in today's video, I will show you how to create photo slideshow using this amazing software. Stay with me to the end of this clip, but before we start, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Welcome back. As you can see, I have my Adobe After Effects open and it's always good before you start your project to make sure that you keep your project organized. So in Adobe After Effects, you can use uh, folders and create different folders in order to put your footage and the media that you use and it helps you to keep your project organized. So as you can see, I'm creating different folders for different uh, uh, medias and comps. Now let's create a new comb with the following setting and name it image one. That is good. Okay, now let's drag and drop our first, uh, first image inside this composition. Press S to bring up the scale frame, the scale properties, and just decrease the scale size. That's nice. Okay, now let's uh, put our image one composition inside the image holders folder. Now let's create a new composition and name it scene one with the following setting. Hit OK and put it inside the scene folder. Now drag and drop the image one composition inside the scene one composition. And as you can see, we don't have any kind of uh, motion for. It's better to create kind of motion for our photo. Go to image one composition. Okay. Press S. We are going to create some keyframes for a scale. Go to the end of composition and increase the size of the photo. Something like 47. Or maybe 45. As you can see, now we have created kind of a motion for our photo. That's nice. Let's go back to scene one. And let's duplicate our comp. You can use the shortcut Ctrl D or go to edit menu and use it. Now let's uh, select the second composition and create a mask using pen tool. When you want to create a mask for your composition, make sure that the composition is selected. And then you can draw your mask on the composition. Okay. And press M to bring up the uh, mask options. Create a keyframe for mask path. Go about one second ahead. And now let's change the position of mask points. So select all of them and drag them to the right. Okay, as you can see, you can select them and, and just change the position of them. And this is what we have created so far. That's nice. Okay. Let's change the position of the mask points a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, we have created this uh, motion for our mask path. Select the second keyframe and just use the easy end option to create a kind of uh, a smooth motion for your transition, for your animation. Okay, 
okay duplicate the previous composition and just change the position of mask points that's nice okay now let's use the tritone effect to make some kind of difference differentiation between our compositions okay and let's drag it on the other composition too and change the color a little bit This is what we have created so far as you and as you can see we have created this uh, transition by using masks inside Adobe After Effect. So now let's search for a stroke effect. You can find it here, just drag and just drag and drop it on the compositions, and as you can see it has created a kind of a stroke to the edge of uh, masks and you can change the brush size and choose any color for that maybe kind of yellowish maybe kind of yellow color that's nice copy it and paste it on the other composition let me change the color of this one too maybe kind of different color okay let's change this one too but I think the white color is better Let's change both of them to white. And that's it, you can see it. Okay, this is what we have created so far and it looks really great. So I have another effect, the broken effect, and I'm going to add it into scene one composition. Let's copy the mask and paste it on the effect. Send the blend mode to screen. really great yeah nice you can use other kind of particles and booking effects in order to create different styles and looks for your photo slideshow but I think this one works good for me and let's create a kind of text for our first scene right image slideshow or you can write any text you want or any size you want or any font you want it's just a kind of presentation and showing you the ways that you can use different uh, techniques in order to create different motions and motion graphics for your project using Adobe After Effect create motion for our text okay press P to bring up the position properties get a keyframe create a keyframe and go to the beginning of the composition and 
change the text position. Okay, change the position of it. Choose the second keyframe and change it to easy in. Yes, it's really nice. And now let's create our keyframes for opacity and maybe we can add a fast box blur effect to that create some keyframes for fast blur and at the beginning increase it it's really nice Okay, this is what we have so far and I hope these techniques are useful for you. And make sure if you like this video, make sure to subscribe our channel because we are going to have more videos about using Adobe After Effects, creating slideshows, creating motion graphics, creating look animations and a bunch of different tips and techniques that we can use inside Adobe After Effects to create very nice projects. Okay, let's add the drop shadow effect to our text to make it more visible. Okay. This is better now. Now let's create an adjustment layer for color correction. Search for contrast effect, brightness and contrast. Apply it to the adjustment layer and increase the contrast a little bit. Okay, before, after. Okay, now let's create another composition for another photo for creating this kind of projects uh, once you create uh, one composition uh, one scene I mean you can ju then just copy and paste it duplicate it and create it just some changes and add it to your main composition as you can see I have created the render composi the, uh, composition this is my main composition and I dragged uh, my scene one composition inside this one okay and now i'm going to create another scene this is scene one okay duplicate image one composition and duplicate scene one composition here i want to change the photo okay delete the previous one now i want to create a kind of uh, a scale animation for this photo too and create a keyframe at the beginning and go to the end of the composition and create another keyframe okay adjust the position of the photo this is nice okay now open scene 2 and now we have to uh, switch these uh, image compositions now let's change them okay as you can see it's really easy using these tips and techniques it really speeds up your workflow and it really makes your work easier and these are some hidden secrets inside Adobe After Effects that you can use them and really I like to use these uh, tips and tricks because they really help me a lot to speed up my work
okay now we have to create the position of masks press u to bring up the keyframes now delete the two first keyframes and bring the last keyframes to the beginning go about one second ahead and yes that's it and now let's change the position of our masks okay now we have what we have to do is to adjust the position of our text uh, change the position of our masks and until we are happy with that okay let's change it a little bit more and always you can create a different kind of uh, shape i mean different kind of effect while you just uh, changing the position of mask points yes that is better now Okay, I'm happy with this motion of these masks. So let's copy the mask. Delete the effect mask. Copy the mask from image 2 and paste it on booking effect. And this is what we have. Let's change the position. Let's change the position of the text and you bring it to the right. Okay, drag the scene to inside the main comp and now what we have to create is kind of a transition between these two uh, compositions you can go to scene one and copy the mask and go to the beginning of the second composition and paste it on it now delete the second frame and bring the last keyframe here okay now we have to change the points of the mask and as you can see we have created this transition it is really good let's apply a stroke once more Okay, let's uh, increase the brush size and change the color to something yellow. Or blue, or green, whatever color that you like. I think yellow is good. Let's have a preview.
this is what we have created and let's uh, choose the keyframes and easy use them okay dear friends it was for today's video and i hope you have learned different things about creating a photo slide shoes inside adobe after effect and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and share it with your friends and till to the next video have a nice time